All right, folks, so what we have here is the Zytar VC8 battery charger. The good people at Zytar contacted me and they asked if I'd be interested in reviewing this uh, product. And of course I said yes, so they sent this to me free of charge in exchange for this video review. Let's go ahead and take a look at the box. You can see that it charges a variety of lithium batteries, IMR, INR, LCR. Also, it will charge uh, AA and AAA and quadruple A nickel metal hydride or nickel cadmium batteries. Some of the features include an LCD screen that uh, displays real-time charging status. It has capacity grading and a storage function, and it can do up to 3 amps for a single slot. It also has reverse polarity, short circuit, overcharge, and overheat protection. Let's go ahead and get this thing open. So inside the box you can see we have an 8 bay charger and it also comes with a charging cable of sorts. When I take a look at this it appears to be a USB-A to USB-C and that allows for a little bit of a higher charging current. See what we have underneath the charger and that is an instruction manual. This instruction manual is published in multiple languages and is pretty limited in information. When I take a look at the inside of the manual, I realize that I'm going to need my glasses in order to be able to read this. But it has enough information to get us up and running. Let's take a look at the charger itself. As you can see, it has eight bays. It has a mode and a current button. This is broken into two separate chargers, bays one through four and bays five through eight. On the back, you can see where you plug in your USB-C charging cable. And on the back it has some more information, some safety information. It tells you about its current, it tells you about its amperage, and it tells you which batteries are safe to charge in this particular unit. And that it's made in China. Let's see if we can go ahead and peel the screen protector off. Well, that's really on there, isn't it? Oh, I guess we'll have to take uh, to other means to get that off. In addition to the charger, Zytar sent me a couple of batteries. Here's an INR 21700. It's rated at uh, 4,200 milliamps. And then they also sent me an 18650 battery. And it is an INR 18650 rated at 2,600 milliamps. We're going to go ahead and use these along with some other batteries in the demonstration of this charger. Let's go ahead and get it set up. We are going to use this Anchor charging uh, power port 2 charger in order to power the XTAR VC8. Okay, now that we're powered up, we're going to go ahead and start putting some batteries in this charger. Make sure that you pay attention to the polarity of the charger because you want to put your batteries in the correct way or they won't charge. We're going to start with the two Zytar batteries. When charging batteries with this charger, you can use the mode button to display what current you're charging your batteries at. You can go to capacity, which will let you know how much energy has been pushed into your battery. And then you can go to IR for internal resistance, and that gives you kind of a health check as to how well your battery is performing. You can also use the current button to go ahead and flip through the different options that are available for this charger. On slots one through four, you can also do a long press of the mode button and that will take you into two different modes, one for grading your battery, which will top your battery off, discharge all the way, and then fill the battery back up. And that will let you know your capacity, your true capacity of your battery. The storage function will allow you to top off your battery and then drain it down to a safe voltage where you can store your battery for long life. The display will illuminate the word full when the batteries are finished charging. You will be able to use the mode button to see what capacity was replaced in your battery and you'll also be able to go to IR to check your internal resistance. Anyhow, that's really it for this review. Once again, I'd like to thank XTAR for sending this uh, charger to me for this review and I'd like to thank everybody for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, go ahead and click thumbs up, like, or subscribe. If you have any questions, you can post them below and I'll do my best to answer. Thanks everybody.